Hello, this is the state of my desk right now. I have been sketching all morning. I made this sketch yesterday, kind of inspired by this little tattoo design from this artist called A Creature. And then I was like, oh, what if it was a dandelion? Made these sketches. I kind of was like, I think this would be a cool painting to do in gouache, but I want to try it out on like a bigger piece of paper. So I made this. I think I'll like it better in gouache. So I'm going to bust into this and make a little painting. I bought this really fancy watercolor paper and I've never tried it before and everybody says that once you try it, you're never gonna wanna use any other watercolor paper because it's like 100% cotton. It's a lot of dollars. watercolor or gouache was the right medium. I liked this and I almost ended it here because I like the way the color pencil looks but I much prefer the gouache version. It's so much softer and I'm really glad that I kept kind of pushing and gave myself the opportunity to do multiple versions throughout like multiple sessions and I'm really happy with this process. I think I want to do more like blobby watercolor backgrounds and then like refining what is in there. I really like carving things out and working I guess subtractively. It feels a lot more like paper cut or like working in 3D. Yeah, I really like these. I'm happy with them. Hello, it's Wednesday morning. I just finished sending these business cards back to the printer. I had to add crop marks. One side is this painting that just has my website on it. I don't want my email or anything on my business cards because I f it's all on my website. I feel like if you can't navigate to someone's website and figure out how to contact them from their contact page, you don't need to be sending me emails. And also I don't have any like social media or anything on here because I feel like it's implied that I'm on. Instagram and all that stuff. I usually just put these business cards in the backs of my prints and then if someone asks for them at an art market uh, at an art market, I will give them to them. At my first art market, I had like a little cup or like a little business card holder with all my business cards in it and pretty much everyone that came to my table took one and I gave out probably like a hundred business cards, which is just like not smart and people a lot of the times will just take business cards put them in their pocket and forget about them so i usually now i just only give them out if i'm asked so i do that painting on one side and then this little illustration on the other and it just says little tiny egg art and illustration by Kristen vardenega i feel like i've never said my last name out loud in a video before it's pronounced vardenega cool <laughs> camera in a while. It's taking me a lot longer than I thought to edit my mural fest vlog. I have this notion in my head that I can't start a new vlog until I've finished the old one. Anyway, hi. 
It's Tuesday, May 23rd. Last week I put up a pre-order for the clay trout magnets and some rainbow trout earrings. And I got about 50 orders, so I have to make uh, like 60 of these rainbow trout magnets or trout magnets. And I think today my main thing I'm gonna do is get everything rolled out and sculpted and then glue the magnets on the back because they're easier to paint and glaze if they have something you can hold on to. So I'm gonna do that. I might have to order some more magnets. Oh yeah, and I primed that canvas red because I want to start a new painting on there soon because I sold my hair and painting. You are sleeping on the couch. She's so cute. This is the state of my desk right now. It's kind of chaotic. I'm watching an Apple Cheeks video. I got my iced coffee there. I think they, it's a little burnt, but that's all right. It's officially iced coffee season. This is stacks of 10. There's some more here. I haven't stacked those up yet because they're still warm. I usually buy the white Sculpey clay one pound at a time, but I just saw that they had this, which is eight pounds of Sculpey. I've used three pounds of clay so far. It looks like this inside. Look at this absolute army. And there's more in the oven still. The best way that I have found to make these rainbow trout consistent when I'm making a bunch of pairs is to use this circle template and just decide what size like what amount of clay I need for the body. I don't remember if I learned this in like a ceramics class or what, but it's really hard to tell how much volume something has when it's in like an irregular shape, but if it's in a circle, it's just like an easy shape to make with clay. So that's why I use this and I'm gonna watch this video. I just thought I needed it. Yeah, it's really, uh, it adds so much. <laughs> good. I just got back from my studio visit with Caro and I got really inspired by all of her big paintings. So I am feeling motivated to finish these and I got a contact for the building manager and I am gonna send him my portfolio now. It's weird with these things how there's like an application process on their website, but the wait list is like years long, but there's like a loophole where if you know somebody, you might be able to get in. So feeling really reignited and energized by the idea of potentially having a studio space that isn't in a hallway in my house, so. Oh 
Hi, um, it is Friday, June 2nd, and tomorrow is the first farmer's market of the year. So I have to get ready for that today because I have to load in at like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> Don't remember the last time that I woke up that early. Something about me is that I am terrible at doing inventory. It's really hard when you sell things online and in person to kind of keep track of everything. So uh, my solution to that is that I just don't. But I'm trying to be better. So I am going to just pack all of my pre-orders so that I know whatever's left over, I can just bring it to the market. So I'm gonna just like pack all my orders today. And I have <clears throat> 48 orders to pack. Let's do that. I also got a package. So this is from Gicle today. This is my prints. Um, and hopefully I ordered enough. It's easy when you're doing pre-orders, but farmer's market is a whole other story. Company does a really good job. So last time I got bubble, I got plastic bubble mailers, but because they're less expensive. But I'm gonna use these from now on because they're fully recyclable, and I was feeling bad about the amount of bubble wrap I was putting into the world. Okay, time to get packing. Nora's doing weird stuff over there on the bookshelf. What is it that you are doing? Come here. I already packed up all these sticker orders, but I wanted to show you my new. I've had these for a little bit. They are envelopes with my return address and a little drawing of a trout on there. And then for my thank you cards, I just use this sketchbook spread. Got it printed so that you can write on the back, thank you, and then I've been writing people's names. And it has a little blurb, which I think is cute, and it's a little more professional than what I had before, which was these handmade block printed ones. My favorite part of this process is trying to figure out which trout go together. <laughs> Somebody placed an order from Singapore. Have no idea how long that's gonna take to get there. Is my shipping method even gonna work for that? I don't know. Whoever decided that the new MacBooks don't need a USB port can literally eat my butt. Here are all the packages. Um, I didn't have time to package all the prints because I still have to sign all of them and put them in their backing, but I packaged up all the magnets and earrings and those are headed out. I'm gonna take those to the post office and then I have a meeting with the artist working group that I worked with last summer. It's like a celebration for the group exhibition that we had. So there's gonna be like a party picnic and then I'm gonna go see Lord Huron tonight. But then I still haven't packed any of my farmer's market stuff and it is currently almost 4 p.m. So mm, we'll see, we'll see how much I get done. Ha, huh. I gotta go. <laughs> sweaty right now I smell so bad this was my first ever farmer's market I was a little bit intimidated but ended up having a great sales day it was so fun seeing all the dogs and everybody's little farmer's market outfits it ended up raining super hard towards the end but it was fine and this is how I fit everything into my little car look at this cute little loaf that I made 
pretty decent crumb. I think that the recipe I use is a little bit uh, low hydration, I think is the word. I would like there to be more bubbles and I'd like the dough to be a little bit less dense, but it's good for toast. Hi, this shot is extremely crooked, but I'm not gonna fix it because I am just feeling very frantic and scattered right now. It is currently Tuesday the 6th of June and I had an art market on Saturday at the farmer's market and then I have another one on this Saturday. Okay, the shot is annoying me. I am flying to Juneau, Alaska on Monday to hang out with my friends and go on a fun trip, which I'm excited for, but I'm a little bit stressed out. <laughs> I'm trying not to say like I'm bad at things and I'm trying to say more like I'm learning or I'm trying to do better. So I'm trying to do better at <laughs> managing my time, doling out my energy in a way that helps me. I went on a bike ride with my friend and Taylor this morning. I didn't start working until like noon, which is totally fine, but I also haven't had a day off in like two weeks. Yesterday I had to have an infusion of immunoglobulin, which is this like blood product that helps with my immunity because I have chronically low uh, white cell count from cancer treatment. It's a whole thing. So I basically got knocked out the entire day yesterday and wouldn't have been able to do any work anyway. Right after Alaska, I have one day in between this Alaska trip and my art residency in Montana. I'm really looking forward to both the trip with my friends and the residency as like a time of slowness and rest and stuff, but the times in between are just gonna be kind of chaotic. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I just wanted to check in and say hi. I'm in a frantic summer mode right now. In case things were not frantic enough, I decided to last minute paint a mural at my friend's house. Uh, I had a bunch of spray okay. paint left over from Mural Fest. Um, do you wanna paint those hearts red for me? Oh, sorry, Mr. Spider. So I put up this little tarot inspired mural. There is a sun and poppies on the left, an egret and the Great Salt Lake in the middle, and then a moon and an evening primrose. Nat and Fiona let me put it up in their little community gathering space and I'm so grateful to them. And then this was my last art market. It was Wild Earth in Salt Lake City. It was at Evo, which is like a climbing gym, ski shop sort of space. It definitely has a specific vibe and I feel like my stuff fits really nicely into the whole community and it went really well. I'm gonna say a very good thank you so much. Uh -oh. Thank you to you guys! <laughs> Woo! Thank you to you guys! 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 Woo! Thank I'm super close to 4,000 subscribers, so if you wanted to subscribe, if you're not already, that would be awesome. Maybe leave me a comment telling me what you've been up to this summer. I love engaging with you guys in the comments. I get the sweetest comments on this channel. It's amazing. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.